G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here and I'm back playing Final Fantasy XV and I have a guide for you today on how to easily farm the Zoo Beaks. Now the Zoo Beaks are great for making Maxi Cast or the Limit Break Magic so you'll be able to do over 9,999 damage. Now this is a pretty easy fight, I'm at level 99 when I'm doing this but I can imagine you could do it at about level 80 and it really wouldn't be that hard. Plus the lower level you do it, the more you're going to gain because of the experience as well as the beaks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to Lestalem and there should be a noodle van parked out front, a cup noodle van. You have to do this beginning quest first to be able to unlock the zoo hunt. So Gladios is going to give you a bit of um, horribly placed product placement. Uh, so he's going to give you a choice of what uh, what ingredient you want to eat. I chose egg, but I believe it doesn't matter which ingredient you choose. It's still going to send you off to do this quest. But uh, if you want to follow these steps exactly and be safe, just choose egg. Once you have done that, and he goes through a bit more dialogue, you'll be sent off to uh, find out where you can get this material or this ingredient. And the way you do that is to simply walk around Lestalem and find any of the restaurant owners that can give you information. And all you do is sit down at their table, talk to the guy, and he'll give you the information that you need. So once you have the entrance, the place you're going to be sent to is Ravito or the Veronis Mark at Ravito. Uh, once you've gone here, you should have the quick travel point by now. Uh, jump on your Chocobo, it's important to leave your car back at the Veronis Mark because we're going to use it to teleport to later. And then you're going to jump on your Chocobo and head here to the Rock of Ravito, which is the entrance of the dungeon. Once you're in the dungeon, just proceed up to the only campsite. Uh, it's quite a cool little dungeon, so I recommend exploring it on your own. I'm not going to spoil it too much. But yeah, it should be obvious where this camp is. So you head up to this uh, campsite here and it'll progress your quest. Now at this point, rest at the camp. You're going to need this rest point later on. I also recommend eating the golden tail soup, which uh, will help you out in the zoo battles later on. So once you've rested up in the morning, head towards the fire elemental deposit and keep heading until you reach a nest, which is marked here on the map. Now my quest, I chose to take the egg. Uh, I'm not sure if it's different if you choose the meat or the shrimp, but for me it was just to grab the egg here. And once you've grabbed that egg, all you're going to do is go into your map and select return to entrance. Now if you don't have that return to entrance option, it may be that you have to collect the royal arm in this dungeon for that to unlock, but I'm not 100% on that. So once you have returned to the entrance, then you're going to select return to rest point, which is why it was important to rest at that campsite before. And you'll be taken back to the rest point, simply camp again, and that'll continue the cup noodle quest. Uh, you'll, give a, you'll be given a short little scene. It's pretty cheesy, but yeah, I got my achievement off it. Anyway, once you've finished that, return to entrance once more. Once you're outside, return to your car, which is where you parked at the Veronis Mark. And now you'll have access to the Feathered Giant of the Fire Smoke quest, which is the Zoo Hunt. So talk to the tipster or the restaurant guy, pick up the Feathered Giant of the Fire Smoke, and then all you have to do is return to your rest point and head back down to the egg nest. And uh, you'll be greeted with a little cutscene, and then you can fight the zoo. Now, I found the zoo incredibly easy. I was expecting quite a bit more of a struggle. He is weak to fire and Armature really cleans him up. It's uh, a breeze. Uh, so this is pretty quick. You're not going to get the zoo beaks every time, but if you use any item find food or items that make it easier for the items to drop, then of course it's going to be easier. But this should be a really quick process. And with that teleport loop that you've got up, it's going to be even faster. So there you go guys, a really easy method to farm the materials for the Limit Break Magic. Uh, I really hope this guide helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. 
If you got any comments or suggestions or any way to make this more efficient, then please leave a comment down below. And if you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.